Welcome. Today, we'll be going through the second problem from the International Mass Olympiad Combinatoric Shortlist 2014. There are two to the power of m sheets of paper with the number one written on each of them. We perform the following operation. In every step, we choose two distinct sheets. If the numbers on the two sheets are a and b, we erase these numbers and write the number a plus b on both sheets. Prove that after m multiplied by 2 to the power of m minus 1 steps, the sum of the numbers on all the sheets is at least 4 to the power of m. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. We need to show that the sum of the final numbers on the sheets is greater or equal to 4 to the power of m. Try writing this down in full algebraically. Does this remind you of any inequalities? Hint number two. Observing the sum of all the numbers of all the sheets alone might not get you very far. Try using the AMGM inequality in your solution. For this, what else will you need to know? Hint number three. Consider the product of the cards after every step. How does it change after every step? Solution. Rather than observing the sum of all the numbers on all the sheets, we'll begin by observing the product of all the numbers on all the sheets. Then, if we take two sheets with the numbers a and b written on them, their product will be a multiplied by b. Now, when we complete this step, the two sheets will have the numbers a plus b written on them. And so their product will be a plus b squared. Now, using the AMGM inequality, we can find that a plus b squared is greater or equal to 4 multiplied by a multiplied by b. Alternatively, we can notice that a minus b squared is a square and so is greater or equal to 0. We can add 4ab to both sides to get this inequality. Now we can express the product of the remaining sheets as x because this will not be the center of focus. And so the initial product is x multiplied by ab and the product after changing the two cards is a plus b squared multiplied by x which we already know is greater or equal to 4ab multiplied by x. So with each step, the product increases by at least four times. So after m multiplied by 2 to the power of m minus 1 steps, the product would have increased by 4 to the power of m multiplied by 2 to the power of m minus 1 times, which is the same as 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 to the power of m times. So if the initial product is 1, because all the numbers are initially 1, the final product is at least 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 to the power of m. We'll now consider the final numbers on the sheets. And let these be a1, a2, a3, all the way to a t to the power of m. Then, by the AMGM inequality, we have that the sum of the final numbers on the sheets is greater or equal to 2 to the power of m multiplied by the 2 to the power of mth root of the product of all the final numbers on the sheet. But we already have an inequality dealing with the product of the final numbers on the sheet. And so we know that 2 to the power of m multiplied by the 2 to the power of mth root 
of the product of all the numbers on the sheets is greater or equal to t to the power of m multiplied by the t to the power of nth root of t to the power of m to the power of t to the power of m, which is equal to t to the power of m multiplied by t to the power of m, or t to the power of m squared, which is the same as 4 to the power of m. And so we have shown that the sum of the final numbers in the sheets is at least 4 to the power of m, which is what we needed to prove, and so we are done. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below, and see you next time.